So presumably you've uploaded all your stuff onto your FTP server and you're ready to get started making your splash page. So this is approximately what it's going to look like in your FTP client and you'll see this structure of all the files here. The only thing we really need to edit is config.php. So I'm going to open that up. There we go. Oop, got it open twice now. Um, and you can see there are a lot of settings here we can fill out to make the page look the way we want it. We're going to take a look at these in order. So the visual style lets you set a background image for your page. And as you can see here, it's automatically set to blue. And that's just a blue background color. If we want to find another image, though, we can just go on Google and search for, let's say, grass background. OK, so here are a couple. We want to make sure it's nice and large. And this one looks good. So I'm just going to get the full size image, copy the image URL, and I'm going to paste that into the config file right here and save it. So now that I've saved it, I'm going to reload my page. And you can see now I have a grass background. Now this isn't all that exciting because we don't have a whole lot going on, so let's try to get some actual information in here. And it's really quick and it's really easy. Now the grass background works pretty well with the white text, but if it didn't, I could turn shadows on and I would get text shadows around here to help bring out the uh, white text. Alternatively, if I wanted black text, I could just change this to a separate hex value, or I could even type in the simple CSS color values like black, and I will end up with black text. But we're going to keep that as white. Now we have to edit some basic information. My name is Adam Dodges. It's my first name and my last name. Now, if I wanted to add a description about me, it will appear right about here. Um, and I'll just say this is a description about Adam Dodges. And you can make this as long as you want. This bubble will expand. So now if you see that I reload, my page is personalized. But let's actually get some content in it. The first part is Flickr, and this is going to be the hardest part of all of them. The rest of it is really, really simple. For Flickr, you want to enter your username, but your username might not be what you think it is. If you go to my Flickr feed, I'm going to www.flickr.com slash photos slash dachis. And my Flickr username in this case is dachis. Now, when that's going to load is anybody's guess. There we go. So I want the username dachis. Whatever it shows up in your URL for your photo feed, that's what you want. So I'm going to paste that into here. Now, in order to use Flickr, you need an API. Flickr does not make it easy to get around that, so um, you have to have an API key. If you need to apply for one, you can do it for free. It doesn't cost you anything, and it, you can do it at this URL right here. I already have an API key, so I'm going to use mine. And paste it in, and save. Now that I've entered both pieces of information, I'll reload and now I have photos. If I click on that, it loads photo content from Flickr. If you click on a photo, any photo, it'll load a bigger version, and you can navigate through all the photos. This is thanks to a nice open source gallery JavaScript called Galleria. You can close it here, or hit escape. And that's how photos works. Everything's a lot easier than setting up photos. Photos is the most difficult because it requires a Flickr API key. Everything else uses public APIs, and so all you have to do is enter your usernames, and it will pull in public data from the relevant services. So for example, if I want my Vimeo videos, I will just save my username in here, which is a Dodges. Actually, I think it might be Dodges. Let's see. It's Dodges. So here are my Vimeo videos. Now I don't want my YouTube videos in here, but let's put Lifehackers in. I'll just enter Lifehacker as the username. Click on Videos. 
And look at all those life hacker videos. Let's take a look at this one. As you can see, it loads it up. And a nice little window. And this is thanks to Pretty Photo, another open source JavaScript included. Same thing goes for Vimeo videos. And that's all there is to that. Okay, last we have Twitter. And it works just the same as entering in your video information. You just enter your username for Twitter, save, and up comes your Twitter feed. There we go. Select Twitter, and there are my tweets with my icons. Oh, and when you mouse over them, they zoom up. In most cases, you can click more to go directly to the profile. That's the case for Twitter. It's also the case for Flickr. And that's all you have to do to set it up. It's that easy.